YouTubers, I got a bit of a follow up here on ter on the Johnny McDonald statue. Remember Mike in the night on uh, Saturday nights, guys. Don't forget to join me live. Roll around in the comment section and leave comments. I get some guests on the show Saturday night. Mike in the night. Ontario government offers to take Sir John A. McDonald's statue removed in Victoria. So, Sir John A. McDonald, for those that don't know, is one of our founding fathers of Canada. He united the railroad. He's on our $10. He united the railroad from coast to coast, and he's on our $10 bill. And I'm very happy that the province of Ontario, which I grew up in, uh, a more of a conservative culture there, has taken the statue. Uh, I'm very happy. Ontario Premier Doug Ford is offering to give a new home to the statue honoring the first Prime Minister of Canada was removed from City Hall's building in Victoria, B.C. last week. Sir Johnny MacDonald played a crucial role in our national history, said Ford on Twitter. As one of the fathers of the Confederation and founded our nation, that's why our government wrote to the mayor of Victoria say we'd be happy to give Sir Johnny MacDonald a home here in Ontario, for sure. For sure. There's Doug Ford right there. Good old Dougie. Sir Johnny McDonald. Well, I just read that. The statue of McDonald was removed from outside Victoria City Hall on August 11th. Victoria City Council voted to take the statue down due to McDonald's role as a leader of violence against Indigenous people. Following the removal of Ontario's MPP, Sylvia Jones said Ford government wrote to Victoria Mayor Lisa helps about relocating the statue of Ontario. So, history matters, and what we need to acknowledge is the importance of Sir Johnny McDonald played in Canada's Ontario history, tweeted Jones. Then why would you remove it from Victoria? Anyways, the statement released on August 8th helps, uh, helps said that the statue would be uh, stored in a city facility after its removal. We do not propose to erase history, but rather to take the time through the process of truth, telling the reconciliation of part of witness reconciliation program to tell this complex and painful chapter of Canadian history in a thoughtful way. So, you could vote here. Do you agree with the city's decision to remove the statue of Canada's Prime Minister? Nope. And, yeah, a majority of people don't want it. So why don't they go to the polls like this and vote if people want something like this done? So, yeah, so the people that want to take down the, um, the statue, I mean... Get their tax money or get them to pay for it. If you want to do something like that and deface the country's history and stuff, just go ahead and get the get the government. Uh, you you guys pay for something like that. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to throw this out there for you guys and wanted to know what you guys thought about it. Uh, I'm really happy that uh, for those that don't know, I mean, it's very crucial. And nobody's looking through a historical lens anymore of what the times were at the time. A lot of people there protesting with flags around them to take down the statue don't understand that if it wasn't for Sir Johnny MacDonald and some of the crucial moves that he made there historically, none of the, a lot of them won't be standing there right there to take down that statue. A lot of them wouldn't be there. You know, it would be different. It would be a, it would be a very different Canada. So I'm not saying it'd be worse or, or better. I'm not sure. But all I'm saying is a lot of them won't be there. I could guarantee that one. Anyways, so I wanted to throw this out there and let you let you guys decide on what you guys think about this. So should founding fathers be removed for the sake of social justice warriors that um, don't understand the past and can't see through a historic lens? Comment below. Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.